And thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Scott Schneider. I'm Dawn Hasbrook. Tonight, a rally for justice and change after Sonia Massey is shot and killed by a deputy inside her Springfield home after calling 911 for help. Emotions running high as civil rights leaders and community members made their voices heard on the west side. Our Nate Rogers live tonight off the top with more Nate. Yeah, attorney Ben Crump as well as Pastor Al Sharpton said they had no choice but to come to Chicago today after receiving several inquiries after a police board filed a grievance asking for the officer involved to be reinstated. Keep in mind, this is the same neighborhood that Laquan McDonald grew up in and inside that church that you see right behind my shoulder, the messages were all the same. Why does this keep happening? How does this keep happening? Rebuke a presidential candidate who wants to give immunity to police officers who misuse their badge and their power. New Mount Pilgrim Missionary Baptist Church filled to capacity. Residents, activists, and family members of Sonia Massey calling for justice. Do you think that you're going to come to Chicago and hold a Democratic convention and not talk about Sonia Massey? I'm coming to tell you. Massey's family says they were lied to by law enforcement about how she was killed. I would have never in the world thought the police shot my mom. You better f not, I swear to God, I'll shoot your face. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Drop the f talk the f talk the f He was also charged with two DUIs before being discharged by the Army. We need to make it illegal for police to be switching districts. Today's rally comes after the Fraternal Order of Police filed a grievance saying Grayson should be reinstated and given back pay because he was acting in self-defense. The breaking news today is that the police union rescinded their grievance and said that they will not object. Massey's father saying Sangamon County Sheriff must resign as well. To ask our forgiveness. Now, anybody else in my family can forgive him, but I'm not. And tonight inside the church, the Reverend Al Sharpton also raised more than $10,000 for the Massey family and their expenses in terms of their legal fees. I'm also Grayson remains in jail. He's being held without bond, charged with various, facing various charges, including murder. The family continues to ask that the George Floyd Act be passed by lawmakers. That is the latest here on the city's west side. Nate Rogers, Fox 32 Chicago.